hello and welcome to all so in this video we will proceed with topic 9 differentiation and for our first subtopic 9.1 we will learn on how to find the derivative of a function by using the first principle So, basically, if we want to find the derivative by using the first principle, we will use the concept of limit. And our formula here is fixed where if we want to find the f prime of x, this will be equal to limit of h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus with fx divided by h. So, now let's do some example to check our understanding. Uh, we have to find the derivative of the following by using the first principle. So before we begin, I just rewrite back our formula before where our f prime will be equal to limit of h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus with f of x and the whole thing will be divided by h. So, for our first question, part A, we will have to find the derivative of y equal to 3x squared minus 5x plus 8. So, the derivative of y in this case, you can use either the symbol of y prime or dy dx. So, I just use dy dx for this one. So, dy dx will be equal to limit of h approaches 0 of so the first function we will have f of x plus h means that every single x you will substitute with x plus h so we will have 3 times with x plus h squared minus with 5 times with also x plus h plus 8 and that is basically our f of x plus h now we have to minus with our fx, so you just basically have to rewrite back your original function. And this whole thing will be divided by h. Okay, now you have to simplify your equation. Obviously, you can see there is a um, quadratic equation here. So, you have to open up all the bracket. So, for our first one, we will get 3x squared plus with 6 of hx plus with 3h squared. And then for our second term, you can also open up the bracket. So, you're going to get negative 5x minus 5h plus 8. Okay, you're done with your f of x plus h. Now, we also open up the bracket for fx. So, we will get negative 3x squared plus 5x minus 8. And once again, the whole thing is still divided by h. So, I just put open up outside 1 over h. Okay. After that, check if there is anything that you can simplify or cancel out and from here you figure you can figure out that 3x squared can be cancelled out next one 5x also can be cancelled out and your 8 also can be cancelled out after that if you try to substitute um, limit of h approaches 0 into your function you will get a 0 over 0 as your answer. As we learned in the previous topic, this is basically indeterminate case. You cannot accept this as your final answer. So, try to manipulate your equation and here we can detect that for each of the term, we have the common factor of h. Obviously, now you can factorize h outside. So, this would be equal to h i factorize that outside times with we live with 6x plus 3h minus 
5 and this whole thing would be uh, sorry this whole thing would be multiplied with 1 over h so h once again you can cancel out and last step just substitute back h approaches 0 into your function so we will get 6x plus with 3 times with 0 minus 5 and our final answer here will be 6x minus 5 and that is basically how you find the first principle sorry you find the first derivative by using the concept of first principle let's try again with a different function now for this one we will have fx equal to set of 8x minus 3 so using the formula of first principle our f prime x in this case will be equal to limit of h approaches 0 of so f of x plus h just remember you just have to substitute um, x with x plus h so you will have set of 8 times with x plus h minus 3 and then we will minus with our fx so in this case is 8x minus 3 and the whole thing will be divided by h okay so if we try to substitute this our limit h approaches 0 into the function obviously once again you will encounter the case of 0 over 0 indeterminate situation and as we learned before if we have indeterminate situation and we have a third function we can multiply this with the conjugate of our third equation and the conjugate here will be third of 8 of x plus h minus 3 plus with third of 8x minus 3 so this is basically a recap session your previous knowledge you already learned in topic 1 where if you want to find the multiply uh, sorry the conjugate offset equation you have to change the middle sign that's why we have a plus sign there okay that's basically the conjugate of our set equation now obviously you have to multiply everything um, to avoid any uh, confusion first part for the denominator part where we have h i just factorize that outside so i will have one over h here now for our third part remember you just have to expand the conjugate partner means that you don't have to do anything for our denominator part so for numerator part we will have first one third times with third obviously you can ignore the third part so we will get it of x plus h minus 3 and then second part set of this plus with 8x minus 3 and then minus with this one so you can cancel that out and so last part and last term set of 8x minus 3 times with set of 8x minus 3 you will get 8x minus 3 and once again if you cannot remember this please um, revise back chapter 1 and then for denominator part I just have to copy back everything so we will have set of 8 times with x plus h minus 3 plus with set of 8x minus 3 okay now obviously you have to open up all the brackets try to figure out if there is anything that you can cancel out based on our equation okay so for numerator part we will have 8x plus 8h minus 3 minus with 8x minus 3 and for denominator part we just leave it as it is so i just copy everything back so we will have set of 8x plus h minus 3 plus with set of 8x minus 3 so for numerator part obviously you can see that 8x can be cancelled out oh here we have a plus 3 actually sorry my mistake so and then 3 also can be cancelled out now we only have 8h 
but remember you also have 1 over h outside of the um, bracket so h can also be cancelled out so now for numerator part we only have it there okay so once again try to substitute h into our function so we will have it divided by set of it x minus 3 plus with set of 8x minus 3. So if you can see there, inside the set, basically we have a same function and this one can be simplified as 2 of set 8x minus 3. Always bear in mind for your final answer, it is always be in a simplest form. So 8 divided by 2, you can still simplify there. Your final answer in this case would be 4 over set of 8x minus 3. Okay, now we proceed with example 2. So, by using the first principle of differentiation, we have to find the derivative of fx equal to 8 over 5 minus x at x equal to 13. So, bear in mind there, they highlight the word first principle. So, you cannot uh, do any other method rather than use this the concept of limit. So, our f prime x in this case would be equal to limit of h approaches 0 of. So, our first part would be um, 8 over 5 minus with x plus h. That would be our f of x plus h minus with our fx. I just rewrite everything back. So, 8 over 5 minus x. And this whole thing will be divided by h. Okay, so now we have to simplify this out. And once again, I repeat the same concept as before to avoid any confusion. H on denominator part, I factorize it outside so we can rewrite that as 1 over h. Okay, so for numerator part now, we have a fraction. So obviously, if you want to simplify any fraction, you have to do the concept of cross multiplication. So we will have 8 times with 5 minus x and then minus with 8 times with this whole thing of 5 minus with x plus h. And then divided by... 5 minus x plus h times with 5 minus x. Okay, now it's look better. So for numerator part, obviously, once again, you can simplify that out basically by open up all the bracket there. So you will have 40 minus 8x minus with 40 plus with 8x plus with uh, 8h and then this whole thing we divided with the same numerator i just rewrite everything back okay so let's figure out if there is something that we can cancel out so for numerator part 40 can be cancelled out 8x can be cancelled out now we have 8h here and obviously h can be cancelled out so once again try to substitute h approaches 0 into your function so we will get it divided by 5 minus x times with 5 minus x and this can be rewrite as 8 divided by 5 minus x squared and that is basically the first principle of 8 over, sorry, the first derivative of 8 over 5 minus x. But the question does not stop there, where we have to find the derivative at x equal to 13. 
means that we have to find basically f prime of 13 so you just have to substitute 13 into your f prime so we will get 8 divided by 5 minus 13 squared and in this case we will get 8 divided by 64 so your final answer here would be 1 over 8 Thank you.